Catheter ablation is a procedure where areas of the heart are electrically inactivated or ablated to resolve an abnormal heart rhythm arising from that area. In this example of catheter ablation, a small area in the ventricles of the heart will be ablated to treat a type of arrhythmia called ventricular tachycardia. This procedure prevents abnormal electrical signals from leaving the damaged heart muscle and traveling to the rest of the heart, where it can cause ventricular tachycardia. While this segment discusses the technical aspect of catheter ablation, please be assured that all measures are taken to ensure your comfort during the procedure. When working in a particularly sensitive area, you may occasionally use freezing therapy, also called cryoablation, to make the procedure as comfortable as possible. A long, thin, flexible tube called a catheter is put into a blood vessel, often in your groin. The catheter can be bent and rotated by your doctor to put it in the precise location it needs to be. This catheter is then threaded into your heart. First, your doctor numbs the area of your groin where the catheter will enter your blood vessel. Then a needle is used to make a small hole through the skin into the blood vessel where a taper tube called a sheath is put. Next, your doctor puts a catheter through the sheath and into your blood vessel. The doctor threads this catheter through your blood vessels up to your heart. Your doctor will use one catheter to put a solution in the heart to prevent clotting during the operation. The catheter can be seen here entering the heart and pumping the solution. Your doctor then inserts several other catheters into the heart. Ultrasound assists in knowing where each catheter is being placed. Catheters are also used by a system called ESI. ESI allows your doctor to paint a graphical map of your own unique heart. Your doctor can then use the graphical image to pinpoint what ablations have already been made and what ablation might occur next. Electrodes at the end of one of the catheters are used to stimulate the heart and record its electrical activity. This helps your doctor learn where abnormal heartbeats are starting in your heart. In this example, the abnormal heartbeat is starting in the heart muscle in the left ventricle. A catheter is used to deliver radio frequency energy to create a scar line, also known as an ablation line. The ablation line electrically isolates the partially damaged heart muscle from the surrounding healthy muscle. Here, the ESI is tracking the ablation line with white dots. Termination of an abnormal electrical signal is seen here. Normal heart rhythm follows. 
This procedure prevents abnormal electrical signals from leaving the damaged heart muscle and traveling to the rest of the heart, where it can cause ventricular fibrillation. After the catheter ablation is completed, your doctor removes the catheter and its sheath. A tight bandage is then put over the opening in the artery. This bandage stops any bleeding from your blood vessel and helps it heal.